What's up guys, my name is Victor, and today I'm gonna to talk about five self-care tips that'll help you along with easing the symptoms of your spiritual awakening symptoms, of your ascension symptoms, especially during times like these. Right now it's March of 2016, and we're about one day away from a lunar eclipse and a full moon. We just came off the equinox, and there's a lot of astrological alignments going on, and that can make, make the integration of like higher dimensional energies within your body more intense and as a result you have more of a flare-up of spiritual awakening symptoms okay and I'm gonna give you five different tips that will help you deal with those and manage those and reduce the intensity of those because they are a little bit annoying and uncomfortable and debilitating for an expanded and more detailed description of these five different self-care tips you can check out my blog below I left a link in the description box Number one is something called contrast showers. You guys might not have heard of these. This is something that professional athletes do to help them recover from like the intense demands of their, of their workouts and their training. It, uh, what, essentially what it is is an alternation of really warm or hot water in the shower uh, contrasted with really cold water. And what it does, it causes all the blood in your body to kind of rush towards your core, to the, the inside of your body. And then once it becomes hot, it, it, all the blood rushes to the surface of your skin. And it creates kind of like a whooshing effect. And it basically just kind of sends a lot of oxygenated and like nutrient-rich blood to, you know, flushes it through your body. And it, this helps you with circulation. It'll raise your energy. It helps reduce physical stress. And it'll just make you feel a lot better. If you have like aches and pains, it's really good for that. You'll, you'll come out of it feeling genuinely, noticeably rejuvenated and a lot better. Number two is a stillness meditation. There's a lot of different types of meditation. And they're all good. And they all have their purpose. But a lot of the types are like stimulating. They kind of uh, raise your spiritual energy and you're already getting kind of enough of that being raised and triggered by like the different astrological alignments so like purposely raising more of it is it it'll just make you feel more fizzled out and more symptomatic so what you want to do is something called a stillness meditation something that just brings you into stillness something that does not require any like one pointed focus intent nothing having to do with your chakras or like any, nothing like that just something like a mantra meditation, which is just repeating a, a sound in your mind, just focusing on the sound. And that allows your thoughts to kind of like fall away and you just get to enter the, the meditative state, which is like a, the theta brainwave state. This is very healing and relaxing and soothing to your central nervous system and your body. And you know, these energies, they cause a lot of like a lot of mental activity, a lot of physical activity. It makes us run kind of hot as we sort through this like, acceleration of our surfacing issues. And this can kind of like bring you back down, relax you, and as a result, not allow it to get too out of hand. Number three is walking in nature. If you can't walk, just, just go out in nature. Just be outside. Even if you're in like a suburban area and you're in like a neighborhood or something, that's better than being enclosed in your little box, in your little house or apartment. Okay, just get outside, go for a walk, even if it's cold. If, you're where, if you live where it's really cold, so what? Put on some warm clothes and, and get out there. It's actually quite uh, peaceful to be outside in the dead of winter. I'm in Michigan right now. And it's actually, again, it's very nice to go out and go for a nice long walk after a big heavy snow because no one's out there. Everyone's tucked away inside and I just have the whole outside to myself. It's very grounding. It's very, it allows your consciousness to kind of expand and not be so enclosed and like confined in this little house we live in. And it's just very, something about being in the presence of nature, of other life, like trees and flowers and, and grass, it just has a very noticeable healing effect to us. It allows us to kind of re-merge with our sense of oneness and unity. Number four is exercise. <clears throat> exercise should be something you're already doing. You should already kind of have established the habit of exercise. And specifically, what will help a lot with the ascension energies is strength training, like weightlifting, resistance training, slowly becoming stronger at whatever lifts produce the effects that make you want to look the way you want to look basically. And because strength training is more than just building your muscles, it's about rewiring and making your central nervous system more efficient. And the stronger and the more 
efficient your nervous system, the better it is able to integrate these energies because it's just a, it's a stronger version of itself essentially. So oftentimes, kind of like contrary to what I'm saying, on these really heavy energy days, you sometimes don't want to do any strength training. So I'm again, I mean this for more of like a part of your your weekly routine. Number five is taking an Epsom salt bath. Epsom salt is really good for your body. Again, this is something else that athletes use just for like the uh, like the technical and physiological benefits it kind of gives them. It, it soothes their, their aching muscles from the workouts. But on like an energetic level, it helps clear your aura. And most of you watching probably are aware of what an aura is. It's just kind of our, our light, it's our spirit self basically. It's our, it's our light, big energy field. Our energy field radiates way outside the confines of our physical body and because we're so empathic and so sensitive it's so easy for us to pick up and kind of collect denser negative energies that are just floating around in the world and your interactions with people your family you go to work you're driving your car there's a lot of crazy energy out there just swirling in the in the wind in the breeze basically and we are like magnets we just we pick it up and again so epsom salt baths epsom salt in and of itself will help like uh, unload that negative dense energy baggage and kind of like allow your aura to become more refined and pure and clean and this has translates into your physical body feeling more rejuvenated and just just better and stronger and again less symptomatic with these spiritual awakening symptoms none of these are anything you have to do but they will help I've been going through this process myself for over eight years and the first three or four years my physical symptoms were literally crippling at times. They were just really un, almost unmanageable and I kind of had to learn this stuff on my own because there wasn't a lot of information out there. So that's why I'm creating these videos to kind of give out what was missing when I was going through this because now there's a lot of people, a lot of you guys are going through this sort of stuff. and. Trust me, this sort of this, these things I told you, I, I speak from experience. They will help you profoundly. They will really ease your symptoms and that allows you to enjoy your life while going through this process, which takes a while. It's a long transition and it helps if you're just become, if you're the strongest version of yourself, you can get through it faster and easier.